cut out for me today because I'm going to attempt to make a guitar tutorial for a Lincoln Brewster song. If you're into church guitar, you're probably already aware of Lincoln Brewster. He's like the worship Eddie Van Halen. But Love the Lord is relatively doable. Most of the rhythm guitar is this riff right here. And then the first big lead that you hit is during the intro. It's on 12 on the B string, 15 on the B string, and then 12 on the G, and it goes like this. And then you're into the verse, which is that riff. The end of the verse has a cool thing going into the chorus. And I'll tab it out, but it's 5 and 7 on the high E, 5 and 8 on the B. You've got a 7 on the G, and then 7 and 9 on the D, and back up to 8 on the B. So it's got a, a bit of a string skip there. Uh, and it goes... So you might have to practice that a few times, I know I did. Uh, but at full speed, it's coming off the verse, it's... So that's pretty cool. And then the chorus is just C, D, C over E, D over F sharp, walk up, and then that riff. So... With all your heart, with all your soul This is that riff again, and over it the lead is just doing 12 on the G, 12 on the D, and then 11 on the G, kind of this chill like. And then it does this. Which is super fast sounding on the recording. Uh, it's just a pentatonic thing, it's 12 and 14 on the D, 12 and 14 on the G, and then ending on 12 and 13 on the B. And you can keep this 12 barred almost for most of it, but it's just kind of... And at full speed, it's something like this. So that's getting back into the second verse. Uh, verse 2 is normal, of course 2 is normal, and then you hit the guitar solo. So almost all of the guitar solo is just these third chords on the G and the B string. So it's 12 and 12, and then 11 and 10, 9 and 8, and back up. And there's just this one little stretch in the middle where you may have to kind of ad-lib a bit of a solo because what he's doing is insane. Um, so here's kind of how the guitar solo goes. So the only part I really can't vouch for is that little descending lead in the middle there. It ends on 12 and 10 on the A string, that, that I'm pretty sure of, but the rest, it's almost easier to just sort of ad-lib something in E minor, so... Something like that. Um, goes into the bridge, which is just chords. It's just G, C, E minor, C, so... there on out you just do a chorus kind of an extra long one and then end with that riff that is the intro so so the 
parts to be aware of if you're on lead guitar are basically that intro thing. That thing coming off the verse. Then that thing between the first chorus and the second verse where it's... And then obviously the guitar solo. So those are kind of the choice bits. If you keep an eye out for those during the song, the rest of it's pretty simple. And hope that helps.